So now the square root of nine squared is nine. Can you see a pattern and can you apply it to the previous problem? I definitely think the classroom should sort of foreshadow their eventual career and, and how, how does it work in the real world. They're presented with a problem scenario. You've got to find a solution to that. You're going to work as part of a team and come to a solution that makes sense. And so that's how I try to run my classroom as well. For the students that I get, it's sometimes it's the first time they've been really challenged. And um, they can feel frustrated at first, but then when they push through, they feel a sense of excitement and learning that maybe they have never felt before. Brooklyn, I need to ask you something. Why did you think that that was a multiplied by five and not some other operation? We have a phrase that we lovingly call the pit of despair. And um, I tell them my goal is all during the school years to kick them off into the pit of despair as frequently as I can, but don't worry, we're gonna be on the other side helping them come up and from that pit of despair and they'll know more and be more confident, but then they don't get discouraged. They realize that that's what learning feels like. And, and anytime I do something hard, this is what it's gonna feel like. So that needs to become my new normal. It's not times three, it's times itself three times. So that is a big adjustment when you switch over to roots. That's normal to get mixed up. I hope that my students will have found joy in mathematics and sciences. Many of my students go on into careers in those fields and I, I hope that that is a legacy I'll leave behind. I want to make sure I maintain that number one to love the kiddos in front of me because that's what their takeaway is going to be. Ultimately, beyond the academics, they're going to think back that hopefully they will know that I love them.